Hi, in the previous tutorial uh, we were using the getElementById method to um, basically swap an image when um, an image is clicked on. So click on an image on the page and then it would swap it with another one. Okay, but the um, problem with that program was you could only click on the image once and then you couldn't click on it again to swap it back. So the um, function really only ran one time. But in this example, we're going to use a tracker which can um, tell which image is currently being displayed on the page and then swap it with another image and it can just keep swapping between images. So the code is similar except that we're going to add a new variable called image tracker and we're going to use an if statement. Okay, so basically this program is going to swap an image when it is clicked by using the get element by ID method and then um, we'll use an image tracker variable to keep track of which image is currently displayed and then an if statement to check if um, one picture is being displayed then swap it with another and vice versa so line 14 we have a new variable declared here called image tracker and it has a string value that is initially set to orange on line 16, we create the function, which is called change. And inside that function, this is the code that will run. So we have a new variable called image. And that is equal to document.getElementById. And the ID is circle, which if you have a look down here on line 33 in the HTML code, we've got the image here. So image source equals orange.png. And the ID of that image is circle. and then when you click on that image, it runs this change function. Okay, so on the web page, there's an orange circle picture, and then when you click on it, it will run the change function, which will change it to the blue image. Okay, but we have an if statement here. So if the image tracker variable is equal to orange, which it is to begin with, that's what it's initially set to, then image source will be changed to blue.png. So it will change this image source here to blue.png instead of orange.png. And it will also update the image tracker so that it keeps a record and knows that the current image being displayed is now the orange image. Is, oh sorry, is now the blue image instead of the orange image. However, there's also an else statement here. So else if the image um, being displayed isn't the, the orange one, then it will change the image source to orange.png and it will also update the image tracker variable to orange as well. So basically, if the image being displayed is orange, then it will swap it with blue. And if the image being displayed is blue, then it will swap it with orange. So we can keep clicking on the image to swap back and forth between the orange and blue circle. Now, both of these files both of these um, images, blue.png and orange.png, they're both stored in the same folder as our HTML file with the JavaScript inside it. So if we go and test this code, it will start with the orange image. When we click on it, it swaps to blue. And when we click on it again, it swaps to orange. Okay. And it'll just keep doing that. Whenever we click, it just swaps to another image. And it does that by using the get element um, by ID method. But it also, rather than just change the image once, it is able to swap back to another image based on what the image tracker variable is set to. And every time the function, uh, every time the function runs, it will check which image is currently being displayed. If it's orange, it will swap it to blue. And if it's blue, it will swap it to orange, okay, using that if else statement. All right, so that's how to change images back and forth um, from an on click, an on click event in JavaScript. In the next tutorial, uh, we'll look at using a timer instead to um, swap between images after a period of time, okay? Thanks for watching.